the facts that I have just quoted from the BC Center for Disease Control are false, then, then maybe he can tell me what the real numbers are. I've asked him. And given that he wants to bring in a 61 cent a litre carbon tax, increase gas and diesel prices by 61 cent a litre on the farmers that produce the food and the truckers that bring it to the grocery store, yep. how much will that tax increase add to the monthly cost of groceries for the average Canadian family? How much? Uh -huh. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. What Canadians know clearly is the inaction by a decade of a Conservative government and oh, the continued resistance Harper. of Conservatives to take action on fighting climate change is costing them incredible amounts. How many uh, homes have been lost in Nova Scotia? How many people affected and evacuated across Alberta? How many people in the Northwest Territories affected now in New Brunswick? People in Central Canada worried about forest fires coming there in the coming weeks and months. The reality is extreme weather events are getting more and more expensive for Canadians, which is why we need to continue to lead on climate change while supporting Canadians. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. I have no words. Speaker, all of those things have happened with his carbon tax in place. His carbon tax has done nothing to reduce emissions, let alone to stop storms and other weather events. So yeah, that, is like, completely, that is nothing more than another act from this Prime Minister. Let's get back <laughs> to the question. My question was very specific. We know now that a British Columbia family has to spend $1,200 a month on groceries just to feed their kids. He wants to raise the tax up to 61 cents a litre on the farmers and truckers who bring us our food. How much will that add to the grocery bill of an average family? How much? The right Honourable Prime here, here. Minister. Here's oh, look, he's the Prime smiling. The leader of the opposition. He is in love with the sound of his own voice and his own attacks, but he doesn't actually check the facts. What kind of a response is that? <laughs> Why is he sitting on the chair like that? He's not—he's sitting on the arm of the chair. No wonder this guy was an old speaker. The Right Honourable Prime Minister, from the top, please. Mr. Speaker, here is the Mr. issue Sieper? with the leader of the opposition, who's so in love with the sound of his own voice that he doesn't actually check the facts. Mr. Speaker, he's talking about uh, our price on pollution, when the reality is... BC has its own price on pollution. The federal backstop doesn't even apply in BC. Uh, he is uh, mixing everything uh, for political arguments, for partisan you attacks to try and scare Canadians, in. and to cover for the fact that he has no plan to fight climate change and therefore has no plan uh, for the future of the Canadian economy. Yeah.